You know, sometimes there are days that are just so absolutely perfect that I feel like I died and went to heaven. And right now, I am completely experiencing one of those moments. Now, in this video, I'm going to do my very, very best not to accidentally yell or get overly excited. But for me, this really is perhaps one of the best days of my life because we just got a new trailer for the Final Fantasy VII Remake. What's up, gamers? Dreamcast guy here. And... This trailer actually came out a couple hours ago, but I was actually over at the Gearbox headquarters playing a bunch of Borderlands 3. They actually let me play the game a bunch today, and I'm going to be doing an impressions video on that tomorrow. But while I was there, I randomly pulled out my phone and saw the entire internet exploding because they did a full minute of new gameplay. This includes showing off the new art. We're actually hearing a bunch of the voice acting. This is a full blown freaking trailer. But what I want to do is actually go through this point by point. Now, if you've been subscribed for a bit, I'm sure you know this, but I am obsessed with Final Fantasy VII. Not only have I beaten it multiple times, I've beaten every version of it. PC, PS1, the th weird port they did on PS3 was slightly cleaned up visuals. Of course, PS4, Nintendo Switch. This game to me is perhaps the most fantastic and perfect game I've ever played in my life. So this remake means a traditional, just a tremendous amount to me. And that's why I'm so happy that in many ways it seems to be basically a glorification of it. It seems like they're trying to take certain key elements of it, but completely redo them in a new light. Like, we see additional conversations with Eris that clearly never happened, showing that perhaps they're going to actually do a deeper characterization of her before the inevitable happens. And also, I really like the fact that we actually got a huge look at the combat system. Now, we did know for a fact before this was shown that it was is going to be an action style where you're actually going to be jumping around, swinging at stuff, smashing into robots, and destroying them with your freaking swords, guns, weapons, and magic. But now, actually seeing a variety of enemies, we're getting a better interpretation of that. So throughout this trailer, we actually see him fighting a couple different bosses from the early game, lots of different enemies, including some of the bigger, deadlier robots, and also Guard Freaking Scorpion, the first main boss of the game. Now, all of this looks so far beyond my wildest dreams. I mean, honestly, when I watched the trailer, I could not believe it was real. This seems like something that is just so far beyond anything I could have imagined. On my best day and my craziest moments, I could have imagined that it would be so freaking good. But what actually kind of just struck me the hardest was that it actually looks uh, very technical. So, at several different parts during this, when you see him actually in combat, I notice that enemies have a very, uh, very methodical slow motion to them, but seem to do a big amount of damage. So I bet that there is going to be perhaps a tactical focus to it, to strike, dodge roll, use a spell, heal yourself, switch to another character. Now that's something else that happened in this trailer, is that they showed uh, a couple of moments of Barrett fighting and then Cloud fighting. So I don't know if uh, we're going to be able to play as all three and switch on the fly. I don't know if we're going to be doing particular missions as each one of them, or we get to choose who we want to play as. But either way, this is great. And more than anything, it shows the fact that there will be a variety of styles to the gameplay. I bet it's still going to have, like, typical stats, so we are still going to be killing monsters to get more health and get more magic and get more strength for the big crits. But beyond this, I'm just kind of excited about the fact that it looks like they're trying to basically remix the entire concept of the fights. God, I'm just sitting here still completely losing my mind that I'm talking about the Final Fantasy VII Remake. The art is definitely the biggest thing to me that I absolutely love. I mean, throughout this trailer, they gave us some very nice wide-angle shots, really kind of explaining how big and deluxe this world was going to be. But from my own observations, it looked like everything in the trailer was still placed in Midgar. We did not see anything outside of it. The one possible exception is that there 
was a shot of Sifroth actually fighting Cloud and talking some trash, but it was a very low camera angle, so perhaps that's the Nibelheim flashback, or maybe that's just, uh, I don't know, maybe that's just like some reimagined moment of maybe Cloud literally fighting his inner demons in Midgar. Either way, it is awesome. I'm so excited for it. Now, the rest of State of Play was very, very good, but this specifically was so crazy. My favorite part is, of course, the fact that they ended and began the trailer with such a nice little touching moment. I mean, seriously, at the opening, they basically talk about this legendary game returning, and at the end, they sandwich it by telling you that they're going to be showing a ton more of it at E3. Coming up in June, apparently we're going to get a bigger reveal of the game itself. Does that mean a demo? Does that mean a release date? Does that mean that this could be coming way sooner than we ever could have thought? I don't know, but I'm so freaking ready for it. Now, the rest of State of Play was good. Medieval is cool. A lot of the other teasers were nice. I'm glad that Monster Hunter is getting DLC, but to me, this is the perfect thing I wanted today. Okay, now I'm going to edit this and then uh, I got to edit a bunch of Borderlands 3 footage. But thank you guys for watching. Thank you so much for being just as excited as I am. Now I got to get back to it. Uh, thank you everybody for watching. Give this video a like if you enjoyed it. Subscribe if you haven't already. But do me the biggest favor of all and keep dreaming. It's real. This is real. Thanks so much for watching that video. If you want to see something else, you can always click this link to see what I put up last or, you know, subscribe and see what's coming up next. Also, I promise that whatever I do, it'll try not to suck.